Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be drawing a hamster, so all that you need for this one is some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil and an eraser. That's it. And if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with a circle. I'm just going to use a cup or a glass just to do a circle, just to go around it, but you can try and draw it freehand any way that you want. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, so just draw it freehand if you don't have a glass to hand. Alrighty, so there's my first circle. Now the next circle I'm going to draw freehand because it's just going to be kind of a circle within a circle. So if you just follow what I do, I'm just doing a circle within this other circle. So it comes round. Don't press too hard because we're going to erase all these lines when it comes to the end. Oh dear, that's a bit wobbly, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, next we're going to draw a line across this first circle. So again, no ruler needed, just draw a wiggly line across the middle. Now we're going to draw another circle. You're probably going, oh no. She keeps on telling me to draw these circles, how annoying, but it does help. So there's another circle this time. Just have a look at what I'm doing. Just goes a little bit, overlaps the top of this circle and it comes back round. Now this is actually going to be the hamster's head. Now, as you can see, I'm really not doing this very accurately. It's just a rough circle, okay? And remember not to press too hard. I'm only pressing hard so that you can see it. Okay? Now, I do promise you this is going to be the last circle. Okay, no more circles. But we're going to draw one more just here. A little circle. It's a little one here. There we go. All right, that's me and the circles. We're done. We are finished. So let's draw some almond shapes for the eyes. So you thought I was going to say to do another circle for the eyes, but I didn't. There you go. And then another one here. All right. Now we're just going to draw a little line where the nose is going to be just here. Can you see that? We're going to just pencil in where the ears are going to be. So one ear here. And then another little kind of triangle shape just poking up there. And that's the other ear. Can you kind of see that it's starting to take shape? Just going to draw the little chubby legs. So a line comes down here and just goes inwards. Same on this side, line comes down here and goes inwards. And then I'm just gonna show where the feet are going to be. And that's the end of stage one. Okay, now we're going to focus on this head area. So get your eraser handy, because we're actually gonna rub out a lot of these circles that we've done. I can hear you going, oh, she made me draw all these circles and now we have to rub them all out, how annoying. <laughs> but they are here to help us. So don't rub them out completely. Don't erase them so that you can't see anything. Just erase enough just so that we can still see them in the background, but they don't interfere with our actual drawing. So there we go. Just getting rid of them like that. I'm just gonna get rid of this little line as well. All right, can you still see that? I hope you can. I'm using a slightly darker pencil, 6B, but please carry on in your normal pencil, whatever you're using. We are going to go around, you see, remember our little circle here? We're going to perfect the nose, so. So the nose comes in like this, okay? Little nostril there, little nostril there. Just like that. Draw a line coming down. And then this comes up again. Like that. Same on the other side. Line coming down. And then it comes up. And then it joins this other circle that we did before. And we'll do some little furry lines. And the same on this side. Okay. So now we're just going to perfect the eyes, so. That's one eye. It's 
Sorry, I made this one slightly too small. Try and make them the same size. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little gap in the center just to show where the light's reflected in the eye. Color in all the eye, just like this. Okay. If you've got this far, you're doing so well. Please don't give up, see it through to the end. Remember, even if you don't like what you're drawing, every single time that you do a drawing, you are getting better. And it will show, you know? Once you've done a few of these, then you will really start to see the difference. Okay, so we're just going to draw a line. Remember where our other circle was? We're going to draw a line coming up and then we're gonna draw some furry lines all around where this other circle used to be. Okay. All the way around. Okay, so we're just gonna draw just a little piece of the ear, because you can't see all of it. They've got quite flat ears and they're kind of, um, they're folded. So there's one section and then there's the, the lower section. So that's the upper section and then the lower section. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this a little bit more furry. And here above the eyes, I'm just going to make it a little bit more furry as well. Lots of fur, just like this. Okay, so now we're going to erase these other circles and the line. So on this inside circle that we did, this is going to be the bottom of the arms. So just follow it with some furry lines going round. Just like that. And the same on the other side, this inside circle. All the way around till you get to the centre where it comes up. Like that. Okay, now we're going to do the back. So this larger circle, the first circle that we did, I'm just gonna follow that in little furry lines. But instead of going round, I'm going to join the leg area. Just like that. And then the same here. Just like this. Okay, I'm just gonna raise this random line and this one here. Okay, now for the little hands. So I'm just gonna draw, it's eating a little nut. So I'm gonna draw one hand here, one little finger there, another one there, another one there, and a little one tucked in there. So that's its little hand. And then on this side, the same. One here, one here, one here. Just like that. So you're just gonna carry on this little hand here. And then draw some more furry lines coming down. Okay, and then the little nuts that it's eating. Okay, draw some more lines. Yeah. Just like this. Okay, so now for the feet, last but not least. We're just going to draw the little, the little feet. So one digit there, another one there, another one there, and another one there. Join them all up. Draw little nails on them. There we go. And then another one here, another one here. They're getting slightly bigger as they go along. And then one 
just tucked out around the back. I think we need to add another little toe on this one. There we go. Okay, so now to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to add a bit more shading. So underneath here, I'm just going to continue doing lots of furry lines, just like this, just very light strokes using my pencil. I'm going to make it really dark just here. I'm also going to add some shading underneath the hamster just so it doesn't look like it's flying. Show where the ground is. I'm just going to do all the areas that are in shadow. Also, we need to add in a bit more of the back so it comes around a bit more around here. I'm just going to erase this one a little bit more. There we go. Add it in again. There we go. As you can see, I'm doing much larger, longer strokes now. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going over the areas in shadow, but a lot darker. Okay, it's starting to take shape now, just a little bit more shadow here.
just going over the ears to make them a little bit darker. Okay, so now to add the finishing touches. Sorry, I'm just going to just go underneath here. I seem to have forgotten this part here. There we go. Okay, the finishing touches are the whiskers. So just strokes just like this. Just like that. So I'm just going to add just a little bit here. There we go. So that's our finished hamster drawing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.